All right, so uh, I'm going to walk through um, all the website training here, and um, just really quickly. So, so we're on trolleybird.net right here, and um, while you're on that site, if you hit the escape key, it'll take you to log in, um, or if you go to, um, I think if you go to trolleybird.net forward slash config. Yeah, it'll take you to the uh, the account admin area. So so it's it's gonna log you into the same to the same area that we were already at. And uh, so then you would just sign in with your credentials. And so, um, so what happens now then, um, all pages, like, like if we go to the contact page, it's basically just going to forward slash contact us. So, um, it's the same thing as going to twirly bird, twirly bird dot net forward slash contact us. So it's basically like going there. Uh, oops. Slash contact us. Oh, I guess I spelled it wrong. <laughs> there you go. It's cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape again. So so you can do that on an, on any page, and it'll take you it'll take you to the to the back end to edit. Um, so that's just an FYI. If, if if you're wanting to send someone some information on the site, like here's you know here's here's how to get to the Spa Jets page, um, you obviously wouldn't want to copy the URL here. You would just tell them you know twirlybird.net forward slash Spa Jets. You could do it that way, um, or you could just log out and do it that way. So to sign out of the site, you you click the arrow there and you come down, and you'd say log out right there. I guess I didn't have to do it. But I just wanted to show you. There we go. So when logging into the site, I'll just go ahead and move this back up. Um, you'll always kind of be taken to this back end where you can kind of see uh, the, the page management area here. Um, so what you can do is is if you click pages, then it'll take you to, to show you what pages are available within the site. Um, the ones up top are the the ones that are listed in the main navigation bar, the ones that say not linked, they're they're also fully accessible, but they're just not linked in this main navigation bar. So in other words, we have we have direct links to um, like the Spa Jets store kind of area, um, and direct links there and all the way down. Um, looks like, let's see. Um, so yeah, what we have then are um, pages in, in, in the back end we'll just be able to to, to link content um, to those directly uh, I, I do have this folder it's like un unused pages um, we can just kind of collapse that or expand it whatever and I will post this video here I guess you wouldn't see that until that's weird <laughs> um, so so yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and link this page now or this this area now so what we can do then is if you click this arrow here, that then, then you're kind of previewing the site as anyone would out, out in the world. And then to edit, you'd basically just click that arrow and it would come down. And then you can either access a page or if you're if you're already on the page you're gonna edit, when you mouse over particular areas, it'll say edit. So um, this top area of everything here on the home page is in the header content area. So, so you can actually click edit on that. Um, and and you can make edits to this content if, if you want. Um, this is an H1 heading. This is a photo. So um, it's it's definitely not a skewed or you know twisted image like that. It, it, it's just a style that I have applied to it. So so any any image you upload there, um, it, it'll go ahead and and do that that same thing. Um, so you would just basically you know you could click remove and then upload a new image. Um, if you want to know the dimensions of this image, let me go ahead and hit cancel here because we, we didn't save anything. 
and this kind of applies to to other areas on the site as well but um, the easiest way sometimes <laughs> is if you right click on it and you could say open image and new tab you can kind of do that it almost says it right there but I can't see it so um, well <laughs> I'm thinking it's a 16 by 9 format. Not that that would help you, but here's here's another way to do it. Um, if if you have access to like Photoshop or something like that, you could basically copy this and then and then paste that in, in into another app or something. Um, oops. So I'm I'm just doing that really quickly here just to kind of show you. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so that image size is 1,000 by 562. So um, basically, then, if you wanted to use the same uh, the the same size image, you can you can do that. Or um, actually, what I will do since we're here. I'll just go ahead and save this image here locally. Let me just say export. I'll just put it on my desktop. Swimmer. Okay. Um, so here, here's what I'll show you is is we are able to kind of use any image there. Um, if you want to get the dimensions, here's here's another way to do that too. Is, is, is if you click edit, and then if you click edit again, there, there's actually a third party image editor called aviary um, and it kind of allows you to get in and kind of you know tweak some things you know if, if, if you want to change brightness and contrast and things like that um, but if you go to crop and like move one of these toolbars it'll actually show you well it thinks it's 999 but we know it's 1000 I think it's 1000 by 562 oh there it goes 1000 by 562 562 all right, so I'm just going to say cancel. But um, so here, here's what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to say close because we don't want to save it. Um, if you have any image on, on your computer, then um, and what I could do is just basically, I don't think these images are very large. I'll just do this real really quickly and, and replace it really quickly too because I know the site is live now but um, so I can actually drag and drop an image there or I could browse for it by, by uploading it there and this is a 4x3 format which it shouldn't matter because um, once we say save and we might have to refresh because we, we just kind of replace the image within a container um, it, it just it doesn't know sometimes that we did that should but it doesn't so there's there's that image um and what i was going to show you is, is as far as the, the dimensions go i mean you, you, know, you can see it's it's kind of angled and everything already for you so um but but you can actually single click it and then you can actually drag this this little dude here so so this this will make the the image larger or smaller um but i'm going to go ahead and swap that image out just in case someone's on the site going what in the world's that um, so here's our swimmer I'll just put her back in there and when, when you do that when, when you add a new image it it's gonna reset that that little scroll uh, that that resizing thing that I did um, and this the this is also kind of important I'll I'll get into this shortly it's it's called a, a focal point and and with the focal point you, you basically well it says over here on the left um, it, it kind of auto crops things for you um, actually I will use it I'll, I'll, I'll show you right now so so if we were to stretch let me save it and re refresh it again this refreshing thing doesn't happen that often it's just it's for unique things like this okay um, so we'll, we'll go back in here to this image and what's cool about the focal point is if we have stretched this image and let's say that she's not in center or whatever um, 
you can literally crop the image by just moving this focal point. It's probably the, probably the coolest feature that, that they've got because it, it, it allows you to be able to insert an image and not have to worry about the cropping and stuff and, and, and until you get it in place and then, and then you can do it. And then so, so what's happened now then is, is it's going to display that um, and let's say that, that, that the important part was over here in the water or something. Um, so what's cool about that is is if I say save now, and then if you're on like a mobile device or you know any any other like you know iPad or something like that, um, it's always going to keep that portion of of, of the image visible. So uh, really really cool. Um, you you can't get much better than that feature alone. So. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. It it, it make, makes me happy as a as an as a designer. It's kind of anyway. Uh, so um, if you want to revert, then you can kind of come back here and you can edit, and then you can kind of put the focal point between the eyes or something. On, usually on faces, it goes that way. And then there there is like a a an area where, where the image would snap. Um, it's kind of hard to see on this one, but. It's like right there. So that's kind of like the 100% size of that image or whatever. So, or the best format for that particular image. And actually I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it taller because it looks like it could probably stand to be a little taller anyway. All right, cool. Um, so, th so that's how that works. Oh, and, th and then the, the where to buy, I just, I just closed that again. Let me go back to edit again. And this, this where to buy button then, um, if you just click edit on that, it'll it'll basically allow you to, to change where, where that link goes. So I can go ahead and um, I can either click the trash can or or I can just browse on on the content and just say wholesale because that's our that that's your page that you've added there, and we'll just say save. So that's piece of cake. Um, so then let's go and make sure. Uh, let's do a click on that and we'll make sure that yep this is our wholesale purchasing page pretty easy and then what we can do then just just to kind of keep things consistent here on the back end is we, we we can click the gear on the page that we can we can disable this one then you can say disable or you could just delete it but I don't know it's it's, it's just one of those things where um, it, it, and, and actually it wouldn't matter if you deleted it. In fact, let's, let's delete it and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what, what happens to it. So delete. Nope. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Psych. So I'm just going to put it in there. Well, that didn't matter, but, um, I'll just go ahead and delete it. So wholesale purchasing delete. And it'll ask me, do you sure you want to delete it? Review changes, whatever, but we didn't make any changes on that. Um, then so uh, d d if you go down in here, then in the trash can area, there's there's the deleted pages. And so we can go ahead and click restore on that one. And I think when it comes back in, it's going to come in disabled anyway. But I'll just go ahead and put it in the unused. That, that way you'll at least have it in case there's something we missed. And then we can just kind of collapse that. No big deal. Um, all right, cool. So, so there's our, our wholesale purchasing page that, that, that you've created. Um, looks good. So yeah, H, H1 heading is, is, is what's there. Then, then we did like the horizontal line and this and that. Um, if, if, if you wanted to copy this page and, and build something else in the same format, um, you'd basically just go to wholesale, click the gear, and scroll down. And you could say duplicate page. And let's say, yeah, you want to do that. Um, so this is our, um, our, our our new page we created. And if, if you ever have questions on that, like which one's which, you, you can click that gear and kind of see, um, oh, wholesale dash one. Okay, well, this, this one's fake. So, so we'll just say, I'm just going to call this one tester page or something like that. Um, Tester for demo. 
so I just renamed it but it it's gonna have the same um, the same content as that page we we copied it from um, and you probably also noticed then um, there's there's a full width version of pages and then there's like this this uh, sidebar version which which we, we're, we're just kind of using full width on all pages um, so full, full width on that and kind of by default it'll just it'll always go to that single sidebar so you always just you'll just have to just kind of always switch it to full width so um that's what there is to that um so i guess as far as adding content then I, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that um so uh let me just go ahead and delete some some things here so um squarespace has um, all all content blocks um, and so so generally when, when when you make a new page you would just have like one content block and it, it, it would be a text block that would be uh, lo located within that page um, and then so so with that then then you can kind of move things around and stuff so I, I'll, I'll, I'll actually go ahead and delete some stuff from from this page just just to kind of show you how we can um, manage a, a, other types of content um, I'll just keep these last two sections here. So, um, what happens with with inserting content, um, like, like like content areas? So, so right now we have a horizontal line, we have a text block, horizontal line, text block, um, and if we want to put like you know, let's say we want to do like like an image above it, um, we can either just click right there on the insert, and then we can grab, we, we can go ahead and just select image, and then it's going to insert an image at this full span, this this, this full width area. So I'll you know, I can go ahead and browse for an image here. I just have, I'll just use this one again. I, I don't think this image is very big. No, it's not very, not that big, but um, you can click stretch, which, which actually would fill the container, but it probably wouldn't look as good. So um, I would suggest just always using like a 1500 pixel wide image for, for all, all your images or like, you know, at, at least 1500 pixel wide. Um, because the system then will, will automatically rescale those when uploading and everything. Um, all right, so so we have, we have an image in place, and let's say we want to put another image next to it. Um, you can see that we're you know in this. I mean, I mean, especially this the the, the screencast. It's like you know we have a lo this little confined space. Um, but if I click here again, and we, we want to get another image, but instead of just clicking it, we, what we could do is click and drag it. So so I could actually click it. And then move it over here, and you can instantly see we have a black line there. It's basically saying, "Do you want to drop it here?" And, it, and, and if I release the mouse, it would drop it there. Um, or I can come over here to the right, um, and then I would just drop it there because I, I want to go ahead and do like, like two two columns there. So I, I can go ahead and upload another image. And if if this image is really large we can actually um, use like t turn on this light box and then if, if anyone selects that image wh while you're on the page it would then go to a larger view of the image so it's the same functionality that's in the cart kind of cool because it allows you to kind of zoom in and I I didn't do it on this one so you can kind of see the difference there but um oh and then and then um, once once images and, and all content is in place um, you know we're we're kind of reliant on on things to scale for for mobile and tablet use and things like that. So um, so it it it's going to go ahead and do um, the the appropriate thing in, in, in this case. What would be um, to 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 drop the content down and, and and I guess with you know like in this case it's going to drop it down because we have other um, content right 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 below it. So it's putting this one on the right down to the bottom is what's happening there so so with with website content um the upper left is is always kind of like the most important area so if we're going to put something over on the right side um on on a mobile device or on like a tablet type view on a smaller display let's say it that way um then then what happens is is this that that right side content becomes um, bottom content because then, it, then then it's not as important so so you know we'll we'll find it still but it's it, it's down below the main content which is on the top 
so that that's how that works um so back back into more content kind of stuff um technically oops i don't want to go to the site title anyway uh technically um there are 12 in, in, invisible columns in, in in the content area um which means um which means that, that you could actually drag and drop this 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 content all the way like down to like like a one column like that which you probably wouldn't do that um and then actually we're this content's lined up on, underneath here and, and you can pretty much see where this horizontal line stops so what we could do is grab this line and if we bring it well it doesn't want to let me try this that should work oops I don't know where that line oh it went to the bottom well sometimes it gets a little weird so so what we could do in this case is we could drop that below there I guess we could just drop that there and then this content would go there so there we go now now we're cooking but anyway um so 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 now if 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 we were to do that same page resize kind of thing um it would be it would go image image at this point because it, it's basically we have a, we, we we have a horizontal block that that's, that's kind of holding that space in the in the shape of a line but anyway um so uh so yeah i mean, I mean if you want to in, insert more more you know d different types of content or or, or in, maybe instead of this box here we want to have text that might wrap around what we could do is we could actually select text and i'm just going to drop it over here to the right and I'm just gonna grab some fake text here and um, so so we still have like two columns of, of, of content I'm just gonna get rid of this paragraph um, and what we could do is is in a magazine type layout we, we would kind of float the image and it, and what, what, what that would do is is the text would would actually wrap around the image so if, if we bring this image over into the content and release it where, where it becomes that gray square or rectangle um, let me put these back over here this was weird to start with this kind of content at the bottom and work that way but anyway it works um, I'm probably out of order but there we go so um, so this image isn't actually taking up a, a, a column it's, it's actually sitting in line with the rest of the content and you can see that when when we have a smaller um, space which it shouldn't oh, oh I guess it, I'm still in the edit mode is why it's doing that anyway um, so, so if I hit save and then if I go preview now we'll be able to show you what I'm talking about so 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 now that that content is going to wrap around that I mean, I mean the, the, the text text is going to wrap around the image um, but you, you can see it like smaller widths it's, it's kind of like you know at, at that point you, you, you might just go ahead and turn on that light box if you're gonna have an image that small um, so it's just something something to remember that there there's no fixed width on, on, on the browser there's always you know it's it's always going to grow and um, be responsive is what's happening um, but we can actually make this image larger we, you know we can do all those things too um, if you want to post a video uh, we can go to like youtube.com let's see what we got so just any um, you just basically get the link of a video so, so so if I just go to YouTube homepage um, I could just grab anything so um, typically you just go up here and just gra grab the URL and I'll just put that back up and then so all we have is, is, is just the URL of it and then what we can do is we can go ahead and insert a video we can do click and drag let's, let's say we want to put it over here on the right and all we have to do is just paste that that URL 
and like hit tab or, or enter either one and then it, it'll go ahead and bring it in and then just hit save and then you can just resize that the same way that you would resize the image so uh, pretty easy I'm gonna bring this thought I would See if I can do this. There it goes. So you can you can see how how I mean I mean like when when, when you're when you're doing doing like layout on a particular page, um, it's pretty flexible. I mean I mean there's 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 not a whole lot you you can't do. I mean you know you can even stretch the image like like, like we showed earlier. You can do that kind of thing over here. Um, you know, if you wanted this image to kind of just be an accent halfway down the page or something like that, you can actually do that, and it'll it'll hold that right there. Um, you can, um, like, let's say you want to add a quote, like a, like a, a, a customer quote. So so you you can go ahead and click right here, for example, and we can bring in a quote block, and then if I just type some text. Um, which here, here's a two two sentences and 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 then and then basically you just you you don't need to put in the quote, quotation marks it'll, it'll put it in for you so so then you can just basically then say Alan Hauser said it and it'll it'll go ahead and cite who said it and say save so um, cool cool feature and then and then you know it if we want to make sure that you know we're we're, we're kind of labeling things that that what we could do is put like a text block above. And then say like um, featured video or something like that, and you could style this right. Right. Right now it's paragraph text. You could actually go bold, or you could um, go like with an with, with an H three would probably be a good idea for those. And then here you could probably say like customer testimonial. Select that text, then I'll go with H3 again, and then just to kind of separate things, we we can actually come in here and add a line, so it's a horizontal line at that point. And so now, um, oh, and we, we 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 definitely want our our page header so, or our, our page title area, so I can go ahead and do this and just well, I guess I could have typed it there without adding another text block, but um, we'll say page title. And those page titles are all H1 headings or heading one. That's what we've kind of used. And then we've we've added the uh, little horizontal line then, just to kind of separate things. Um, so you can kind of see how how that all works. Um, and I think the other pages even have the, have the line that goes all the way across. So I mean, you can kind of just keep playing and tweaking and playing and then and then you know once once you're even done with a page like this even if it's not live like in, in, in this example it's not like we haven't linked it anywhere so so you could actually use this as like your kind of working template and then you could actually copy this page and then make you know make multiple pages that way too so um so it's kind of a fun way to to act, actually build content out if that's fun i guess it is um, let me go ahead and edit real quick and just show it's like if we, you know if we want this line up there and then what, what we found is is that, that, that this is now part of the same so so we, 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 we can't move this heading so we'll have to do is add something between it so you could either add another line or like you know a spacer or something like that just something that that's going to separate it so, so we basically just cut, cut it apart by adding something new that's just a little hack and then um, then I can grab this drop it up there then I could get rid of this box um, that is called a space block or, or a spacer block um, and what's cool about a spacer block is this, this would be a good example of, of, of how, how you can use it um, let, let's say you just want you know featured video or something on, on this one page and and once you insert it, you're like, man, that that's just enormous. You know, pe people can't see the the whole video because it's it's so huge. Which, you know, it it's okay. Like in this case, because because it actually fits fits really well for for this example because it's the same size as video. So, um, but 
if we wanted it smaller, which, which most likely we would, um, what we could do is add those spacer blocks to it. Um, so, so those are going to behave just, just like an image does, for example. Um, so we can go ahead and do our insert and come down here to spacer. And if we drop there, we're, we're, we're going to add an entire new column to the left. But if, if we come down a little more and then go right there, see, see, see how the line went from tall to a little shorter, then that's where we want to drop it there. And now you, you can already see that we, we have that spacer block in, in, in place on the left side. We, we can go and drop one on the right side. And then what we can do is just shrink those dudes down. So we're, we're, we're like literally like moving furniture around or something, you know, to make to make it fit um, or, or, you know, or, 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 or if we want to keep the image or, or, or the video to the to the left or something like that, we can do it that way. So that's kind of a better size. And then and then you could actually put other content over here or put some sort of intro text above it or something like that. So anyway, um, that that's how you can use those spacer blocks. Um, other types of content would include let's see um, quote block which we use image block we used um, embed would be like in a, an embeddable code from from some other third-party app or something that you want, might want to install on the page so it's it would basically give you like a, a an editable um, code block is what that would be um, audio would be like a, an, an, an mp3 file so if, if, if you had a recording or like a podcast or something like that that you wanted to distribute then that, that's how you could do that video we've done that um, slideshow um, if if you wanted to add a slideshow of, of, of images I'll go ahead and show you how, how that works um, so you, you can just drag that into the page and then you would up, upload your images for that so let's go ahead and do that and so as those come in um, what we can then do can move this over here I don't know if I don't know if this will refresh while we're tweaking but um, there's there's different types so a carousel um, automatically transition between slides show next and previous or a slideshow which, which is um, pr probably more common and, th and that way you can actually have thumbnails on the bottom and you can automatically transition show next and previous so it'll add the little controls um, uh, title and description I'll, I'll, I'll show you where that's at and let's just say let's say we like that and let's just say safe well actually let's go back to content um, so so here's where we can title things so you could say you know pool example number one Etc. Etc. Um, so you just click the gear on on each of those, and then um, you can also, like we talked about earlier, you can, you can click edit on these, and, and you, you can go into edit the photo if you want to do that. Very very flexible. Just very, it's su su super easy to use though too. I mean it's like pr pretty intuitive. Um, so anyway. Um, I think we said on this design show image and title I don't know if it's gonna do it I guess we don't have I'll see the bottom that's fine and we'll say save and and drop things it's just a little hard on this little screen anyway um, I can get rid of this block now cool so 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 now we you know we can pretty much see oh I gotta hit save and then we'll go here 
So now at this point we can we can navigate left and right on that. It says pool example number two right there. Or you can click these little guys. Pool example number one should show up. There it is. All right. So um, that's that's content. Um, a lot you can do with it. Very, very flexible. And uh, have fun with that. <laughs> um, then next, you know, we, we can jump in back back into the store area. Um, I think you've got a good grasp on that, but but we, we, we can cover it anyway. So um, this is just considered a, another landing page with, with content. There's, there's a button block here if you wanted to add buttons to any, any of the other pages. You basically click edit. I don't know why we keep going here. There we go. That's a little better. Um, so if I click edit, so that that's just a button block, like I said. Um, and then if if you want to add like another button, you you basically just kind of scroll down here. You can say button. And then learn more. Put you know, put 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 the URL. If 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 if, if it's one of your pages that already exists, you click content, and then you can link to it. Like we're just linking to the wholesale thing at that point. Um, and and if we hit save, then we 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 would have that button there. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because <laughs> because we don't need it there. Um, Actually, I think I have styling set on yeah on, on that button. Um, so there's there's a default uh, a default button which, which is like the the Squarespace version of you know like the small and the large one, and I I, I have spe special styling on, on the medium one. So um, so that, that's how that works. Um, There we go. That looks better. Um, yeah. So then um, these components here, uh, what we're, we're basically doing with with these blocks. Let me go back into edit. This is really lagging. <laughs> um, this is this is a summary block, and um, we we I I also have a spacer element here just. Just, just to add like one column of space between just, just so there's a little bit of separation there I don't know if you saw that or not but um, so our spa components are here spa accessories are there so what I did is is within the product areas what we can do with, with the summary is we can we can basically select what collection we're going to show so in this case we're going to show spa jets and if we go to layout we're showing um, it's actually a grid. It's the same thing. I don't. I don't know why I chose a wall at that point, but um, one by one square. So, so this would be your your images that that are there. Um, you 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 can see that if if, if you're going to use something non-square at this point, it might just crop them. So it's pr probably better just to use a square image at that point. Um, then you can change your column width and all, all those all those settings there as well. Um, Um, if you wanted these to, to, to line up like these, let's let's go see these real quickly. Double click and say layout. We got 135 as far as our width, and then our gutter width is 20. So we can come back to this one then, if if, if we wanted to match. I thought we, we 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 might want to make these a little larger, j just just because these are probably probably what people would be. Oh, who knows what they're gonna be buying, right? So, um, but anyway. You can you can scroll down then and and do the same setting. You could say 135, and then you'll see those snap to like a three. So anyway, that's that's how that can be done. But I guess there's four, so maybe maybe it does look better to just keep those like that. Um, so that's how those appear there. Let me go back and make make sure there's not any other settings. There there are there are a few layout 
small square um, center text um, display number of items you can always keep keep that up as high as it goes and, and you'll never kind of I mean I mean if you have more than 30 spa jets or something like that then, then we, we might want to reconfigure or do like a different kind of filter like um, maybe you have deep tissue jets and then the next section would be shiatsu jets or something like that so anyway um, you can show excerpt but but when, when you start to do that it, it starts to get kind of hard to read because it's you know so small so I don't know a little, little cleaner just, just to turn off the excerpt you, you can also turn off the pricing if you want to do that um, turn off the thumbnail if you want to do that so um, and there's other metadata so so if there's like a, a category in this case um, that's how we're doing this filter is this is our spa jets category and then this one down here is our I think it's I, I think I called it accessories but anyway um, I wouldn't show that here so I would just say none on on those um, and yeah here's here's our category filter here so um, I'll show you how, how this works then so so if for some reason we wanted to put ac uh, accessories on the top we could just type the word a c c and then it'll do a search for it and then we can select that but we don't we just want to say spa jets and then I'll just say save so I'll show you where that is in, in, in the actual product area um, if we go into spa jets you want to be sure that, that that you add these um, these categories on all products just just because that that's how those get sent out to that previous page so if we're on the deep tissue uh, product for example when we, we click settings on that um, this is where we see spa jets here so if if for some reason we, we want something to a, a appear in like two locations um, what we could do is actually we could give it um, spa jets and then we could give it accessories as well and it, it, it would turn on both of those and then see if we go back oops I guess gonna click right here if we go to spa jets there's there's our deep tissue spa jet so we can go back in then that that might make things more confusing but but you know it's kind of good to know what 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 happens and how, how things get sent out um, so so actually you can click there's a tiny little X there you can click that I said you can click that there it goes um, variants I think I think you covered I mean I mean I think you've 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 got this down you know as far as your quantity and things like that if you have two of those left you can go in there and just change that stock to two or whatever um, and we just want to save it because we, we did mess with that category so um, the, the other pages are, are exactly the same like if, if we go to pool returns then we have got um, There we go. Um, so if we double click this one, I would assume that our category is pool returns. There's our category there. So, um, and again, I'll just crank it up. So uh, any new pool returns or any new accessories and th th things like that that you would add, then um, you would just make sure to put put that category on the actual product page and it, it'll show up here but I think the rest of the pages are the same as far as as far as the the concept and the design of the, all those um, we, we do have like an image here so so, so if you want to swap out the image you, you basically click edit with within the page and um, you can double click that and then you can either click remove or you can just drag and drop another image there and it'll put it right in there I'll say cancel um, but these are the same let's see we have a filter on these as well 
category filter. Oh, on these, it's just it 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 it's it's one product type of templates. And then we have the other one that's using stencils. I guess new products is probably turned off, or or is that one that you're using? Not sure, but anyway. Oops. Hands. Templates, stencils. Okay, good. Um, well, I think that's kind of it. Now, now as far as like inventory and things like that, um, let me go back in here. Let's go to home and then commerce. And then if you step step through this already, you might you might see um, you, you, you'd be able to see all, you know, your status of all. Da, 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 da. So you, you might test those out, but should should be good on those. Um, looks like you have unlimited stock of everything. Oh, except for these one one one. You might have to. All right, and then uh, donations, shipping. Flat rate per order. I guess that's what you did. Um, taxes, accounting, email settings, store settings. Oh yeah, as as far as email settings, there there is another document too. Or, or I guess it's in here. Uh, that's where it is. So so yeah, you you can customize these if if, if you want as well. Um, it it's basically going to use your your store information. So it's it's going to know, you know, it's going to say from from Trolley Bird and you know, what the site title is and all that stuff. But um, but yeah, you can change all all these if you want. You can say Happy Swimming or whatever you want to say that. Um, that's trademark Alan Hauser. Uh, let's see, order refunded, business name. I guess. I guess you want to fill those in. Yeah. I, so fill those in. <laughs> That's in the um, email settings, which I will. Um, I'll send this to you. type on it. You'll, you'll know what it is. I'll just send it to you guys. Okay. Um, I think that's, that's kind of it. I don't, I don't know if there's other things. Um, you, you might just, just click through all of these other settings. Oh, you don't have donations, but, um, you, you could click through all of all the rest of these settings and, and, and set those up. If you go all the way back up to the home page and look at metrics, then, You'll, you'll, you'll be able to see your your traffic and how many people visited the site so it looks like today we've got 17 page views and we only launched like um, just just a few hours ago anyway um, so so you'll be, you'll be able to kind of track that content I mean or tra track that data um, looking at traffic overview mobile usage subscribers, referrers, popular content. So this is kind of interesting. So you'd, you'd be able to see that, you know, installation looks like it's the second most popular page aside from the home page. So, you know, that, that was probably us testing. So, you know, it's probably not exactly accurate, but but you would be able to to d d d discern that information, as, you know, especially if you're gonna look at like today, you know, then that might be more accurate because I bet a lot of people are visiting the installation page at that point. So, good, good to know. Anyway, um, 
Oh, I didn't know there was a sales overview. That's cool. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, if, if you have any questions, let, let me know. Um, also, um, Squarespace is really good on their support. If you go back here to the home again and click help, it'll actually take take you to their help site. Um, and you're like, you know, how, how do I insert a video? And you can see, you can say insert video or something like that. You might using the video block. So there's, oops, oh, there it is, using the video block. So um, there's there's usually pretty thorough, de you know, details on all those things. Um, a lot of these also have their like. There's, there's like videos and guides, workshops, all this kind of stuff in here too. So um, really thorough stuff. Um, so you can kind of go through there and learn learn a bit more if, if you'd like. But, um, you know, it's pretty pretty easy to use. But if you do have any questions, just, just let me know. But, you know, also just know that, that Squarespace is, is always there on the help. <laughs> so 24-7. All right. Thank you very much.